assuming uh, that's floor five. There's like an apartment floor. These are some lush ass fucking apartments. are still in the washer so that was obviously Paul and by the looks of it he's not doing so well let me just put away my crossbow eat your heart out Daryl I think at least that's like a walking dead thing I think Got some clothes, nice TV. Pretty clean toilet. Got to judge a man on his toilet, definitely. So we got some chick that gave him something, some plague disease, and he's just chilling, dead, all sprawled out. Code to her door is one two o oh, three. So let's find out where she lives. So I take the elevator back to the ground floor and look at the mailboxes, see if she lives in these apartments. Hey. Hey, shut up! I play the game how I want. Can't tell me what to do. Hey sir, there's a dead body, just so you know. H. H for Hannah? Floor 6. Let's do this. No, 6. Fuck! Oh no. I've pushed too many buttons. I'm gonna die now. Elevator just explodes. Not ground floor. Oh fuck. I wanna go up. Go up to... I hate you! I'll get the fucking astro light and blow you up myself. Alright, this bitch is probably armed and dangerous. I need the crossbow out. A safe key. We're doing the SWAT style. Clear. Yeah, fucking open that up too. Clear. It's really dark. Oh boy. Oh fuck. Paul, is that hey, you're not Paul. Who are you? Uh, oh, don't cough on me. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who are you? I'm gonna call the police. You. <laughs> I knew you'd come. 
come to take care of me. Oh, Paul. You say the most beautiful things. Yes. You want to know how I got sick? <coughs> how sweet of you to ask. <coughs> Her name was Jezebel. Jezebel Locke. I'm usually not too good with names, you know, but hers was so strange. <coughs> I can't seem to get it out of my head. Yeah, I mean, I think so. <coughs> to tell you the truth, I don't really remember a whole lot about that night, you know. <coughs> Everything's a little blurry, you know. I mean, I'm not usually, you know, into women, but I remember feeling so attracted to her. I thought she was the most oh, really? beautiful woman I'd ever seen. <coughs> the next thing that's clear <coughs> is when I woke up the next morning. <coughs> and I've been feeling too well since then. To tell you the truth, it was a friend who, who's a Worked with her, and they you know, you say you know a lot. <coughs> okay, okay. Oh shit! A professional escort. She had a room at the Empire Hotel. I can't remember the number. <coughs> Paul, I really liked you. You were so nice to me the other night. I don't, I don't meet a lot of guys like you. I hope yeah. so. Yeah. I really do. You're gonna die. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, now that I've gained some humanity, I'm feeling pretty good. Let's steal this bitch's stuff. Haha. <laughs> some money. So. This bitch right here is a prostitute. Straight up a prostitute. Amazing. And, uh, right? Arthur Kilba. Hey, we know him. Wow. <laughs> oh, God. Wow. Looks like the tail is slowly, slowly revealing itself. Empire Arms Hotel. Alright. Cool. Now we never have to use this bloody elevator again. Ground floor, please. There you go. I'm glad I'm not staying in this apartment complex. There's two dead bodies right now. And that guard is doing absolutely nothing. Just so you know, man, you better get that broom mop thing. There's two dead bodies. No? Okay. That's fine. So, let's see if we can uncover anything more about this hotel at the local bar. Simply because I'm not going to just waltz in. I'm going to be like, alright, who else stays at this hotel? You know, what else, uh, what else is going on there? And then we can go to that Empire Arms Hotel. That's how I play this right here. Hey, the same bitch. The same bitch. You and your cheesy ass skull shirt get out of my way. Fuck. I got important shit to do. The world is requiring me to do these missions. I hate this. I hate these things. Ah. How about you?